After an explosive performance from Rob Edwards, the Devils were looking to keep up the momentum, welcoming Ryder University into Tempe. The Devils were looking to push their record over 500 for the first time this season. Ryder showed some strength early, getting out to an eight-point lead. But that lead for Ryder would evaporate quickly. Hurley went to the bench early, and with an unlikely hero, the tone quickly changed for ASU. Guys like Jalen House, guys like Elias, um, Tayshawn, they, man, they, they came in and gave us energy and gave us that jump. We were down probably about 10, by 10 points in, in the first half. So um, they picked us up. We got the energy, defense, you know, they picked us up on defense and we just started going. Jalen House would be the story of the game for the Devils, racking up 25 points and five rebounds. <laughs> It's not fun when someone is that quick with their footwork that could turn you that frequently and make it very difficult to get the ball across half court. And, you know, as a, as a guard, you would love for no one to, to make you feel uncomfortable and get your team into offense, so and he's a problem. Remy Martin also stepped up with 20 points of his own, and the momentum shifted, and ASU never looked back. The Devils also dominated on defense, forcing 29 turnovers, the most since 2003 and 16 steals, the most since 2009. I feel like defense is more important because if you're not having a good night offensively, you could always have a good night defensively. So just emphasize defense more than offense, to be honest. The Devils took that defensive efficiency and rode it to a 92-55 victory. ASU now sits at 2-1 and, and are preparing to head out to Connecticut to face St. John's. Reporting in Desert Financial Arena, Jack Lauderay, Cronkite Sports. Yeah!